Hello everyone, this is a November 12 question, paper 1-1 and the question number is 23. It's concerned with the chapter hydrocarbons. The question reads, the cracking of a single hydrocarbon molecule CnH2n plus 2 single hydrocarbon molecule produces two hydrocarbon molecules only. Only two hydrocarbon molecules. Each hydrocarbon product contains the same number of carbon atoms in one molecule. Each hydrocarbon product has non-cyclic structural isomers. What is the value of n? Uh, so looking at the answer choices, first of all we have to uh, approach this question via the plug-in method but looking at the answer choices we can reject D because uh, uh, the hydrocarbon is alkane and uh, when the when we uh, plug in option D here, uh, CnH2n plus 2 would be C9H2n uh, would be 18 and uh, plus 2 would make it 20. And uh, we need to produce only two hydrocarbon molecules. So best case scenario is we'll have one hydrocarbon which has five carbon atoms and another hydrocarbon which has four carbon atoms. And uh, when there is odd number of uh, carbon atoms, uh, the two uh, the number of carbon atoms in two products can never be the same. So we'll reject D. Now uh, checking the options going from A, B, and C. First uh, we'll plug in. Uh, four carbon atoms uh, that means we'll have C4H10 uh, when we crack this we'll obtain uh, we can obtain uh, same number of carbon atoms means we'll obtain uh, one will be C2H6 and another will be C2H4 because four uh, carbon atoms and uh, 10 hydrogen so uh, although this satisfies the first condition it does it fails to meet the second criteria that is non-cyclic structure isomers uh, the both of these compounds do not have uh, any kind of structure isomers so we'll reject option a uh, going to b we have uh, c6h14 uh, this should give us c3h8 uh, plus c3h6 uh, satisfies the first condition but fails to meet the second criteria so we'll reject this as well uh, by the process of elimination, we now know that C is the correct answer, but uh, still we are going to check for it. C is C8, uh, H18, it, uh, it should give us C4H10 plus C4H8. Now we need to see if we can uh, find out structural isomers of uh, both of these uh, products. Uh, if we check for butane first, uh, we'll have its normal structure is four carbon atoms and uh, surrounded by hydrogens and uh, can we construct structure isomer out of it yes we can obviously uh, we can have this following structure uh, hydrogen all over here uh, this structure is uh, two methyl propane so uh, we can construct or create structure isomer out of the first product and uh, checking for second one which is butene uh, we'll have uh, yeah we can form double bond over here and uh, again we can uh, do similar thing uh, the structure isomer could be one of the structure isomer could be uh, two methyl prop one in uh, so yeah this is the structure isomer we have one hydrogen here uh, one two three four uh, this carbon atom has four covalent bonds this has one two three uh, one two three so we have one two three four five six seven eight eight hydrogen atoms four carbon atoms so uh, option C satisfies both the criteria of uh, same number of carbon atoms and each hydrocarbon product, each hydrocarbon product having a non-cyclic structure isomers.